Welcome to Abacus Finite Element Tutorials. In this lecture, we're going to learn how a launch vehicle design is held by four or five hold down pins, and that you can basically recover the reaction forces to then size the designs for these pins in a very simple way. Leafy Wang will show us how to recover the reaction forces so you can go ahead and size the pins. Thank you, Leafu. Hello, everyone. This is a supplement on how to post processing the results. So we're going to design the pin diameter of the pin so that it can support the can sustain the load, maximum load we have for all dynamic problems. So here's the seismic analysis we have previously. Uh for the previous video and to obtain the we're going to have the reaction force on the four pin and which acting as a shear force so this shear force divide by the area of the cross uh, cross, cross section for the pin will be the shear stress inside the pin and compared to the maximum allowable shear stress of the material, for example, uh, stainless steel or something, and you can, uh, you can make a calculation and have the obtain the uh, minimum diameter for the pin. So let's see how do we get the reaction force. So once you assign the step here. Uh, in the field output, we have this field output for seismic analysis. If you click edit, previously we only have uh, stress and displacement. Now we can add the reaction force here. Um, so when you add it, um, it will automatically calculate the reaction force on the four pin point. And then you can rerun the job. I already rerun it, so I directly show you the results. So here's the reaction force. You can see that most of the most of the points are on the on the surface is zero. You only have reaction force at this four node. And uh, to output the data similar as what we have before xy data and now we create from few uh let's open the manager so xy data manager let's see let's clear everything so we create a new one from the field output remember to deactivate the frequency step only have the seismic analysis step in the unique nodal, choose the reaction force here. And we're going to choose reaction force one first, which means X direction reaction force. And then choose the node we want. For example, this node, which is one of the pin. And then click down, and this is one of your results. If you save it, uh, it, will be, it will be saved here. We, we can rename this result, call it um, uh, reaction force one of pin one. So now uh, we change to reaction force three and then the point is still this one. Now let's see, save this uh, result and rename it as reaction force three of ping uh, one. So which means X direction reaction force and Z direction reaction force. And the total reaction force should be the square root of the square, sum of the square of this two value. So now we can create, it has two way to do it. First way is you can double click and copy every data from the table to your Excel and work on your Excel if you feel better uh, working with Excel. Another way is we can directly use Abacus for this. So we can create 
have operation on x, y data. And now we can enter whatever formulas we want. For example, uh, for the total reaction force, it should be s square roots of the square of the first value. Double click it, comma two. This is the square of the first value. And then plus the square of the second value. So double, double click this one. And this will be your total force. So you save as coi, um, reaction total reaction force of pin one. Now we can plot this total reaction force. So you can see the total reaction force here. And then you can have the minimum is where it's zero and the maximum, which is this value. And then from the maximum of the reaction force, you can obtain the uh, design, you can design the minimum, uh, minimum like uh, diameter for the pin. So this is how we obtain the reaction force from of the pin from abacus.